Hi guys, I'm back with another alkaline cooking video. Today we're going to make mock fried potatoes and onions. And to make this, we're going to need a green banana. This is do not confuse this with the yellow banana that you find in the store. This is not an unripened yellow banana. This is the green banana. You can find these in a lot of Caribbean markets. Of course, I mean, that's the only place I've actually been able to find it. There's another banana you can use for this recipe as well, and that is the burrow banana. You want to use it while it's green and it tastes like a potato. This is the burrow banana. This is the green banana. There is another banana, but you can't use it for this recipe, but this is another banana that's on the list. This is the baby bananas. See, there's a difference here in size. That's a burrow banana. This is a baby banana. I'll take one off. There you are. These are on the approved list for Dr. Sabi. Burrow banana, baby banana, green banana. Okay? And today we're going to use the green banana. So I've cut up four green bananas. Well, I've cut up three, but I'm going to cut up one more on camera to show you the easiest way to do them. I cut off both ends and cut it down the middle. And then put a slice in it slice in it and then you just peel this off carefully these wash your fingernails really good when you're done get up underneath there with some really good soap because these and burrow bananas will make your fingernails look dirty for weeks even when they're clean now you can slice them thin this way or you can slice it down the middle and then slice them in two pieces thinly and there you have it I'm going to put them in the bowl with the rest of them and then we're going to season them make sure you got a pan going too on medium high heat we're going to add A half a teaspoon of sea salt you can, and you can add other flavors that you like but I'm making the mock potatoes and onions and that's more of you know if we were making it with unapproved foods it would be like garlic oil butter you know onions salt um, cayenne you want to add some of that it's not the cayenne is optional and then we're going to add onion powder I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that. Okay, once you've had those, you stir it up and let it marinate for a bit. Let it sit for about five minutes. All right, now we're going to set that aside. Now, Get your pan going on medium high. Get some oil in there. Grapeseed oil. I'm using the Mystic Oil Sprayer. It doesn't work like it used to, but it still only produces a little bit of oil, which is nice. Uh, now we're going to add to this one medium onion. Heat it a little bit, and then we're going to add the burrow bananas. And you may need to add a little bit more oil because the bananas do suck up um, a lot of the oil. So just be prepared. Get it ready before you add the bananas in. I'm cooking it long enough to get some of these onions broken up. Get a nice sear going on them. All right, now we'll add the burrow bananas. And if you feel you need more onion powder or cayenne after this, feel free to add it as they get cooked well, more well done and they're closer to being done. It's going to take about 10 minutes or so.
they're getting there. They're cooking up real nice. Shouldn't be too much longer. Like I said, it can take about 10 minutes. You can test them. They should taste fully cooked and close to a potato. They got a nice crispy little crust on them. You can see that. All right, and our mock fried potatoes and onions are done. They have a nice little crispy texture to most of them, as you see. And now we're going to plate these. I'm going to get them ready for my husband who's coming home for lunch. He's having um, fried potatoes and onions, well, mock fried potatoes and onions, and some super fluffy blueberry pancakes. Watch that video will be coming up next. All right, let's get these plated. You can also top them off with a little bit of green onion if you want for more flavor. They're great as a side dish or even by themselves in the morning with pancakes, with, um, with dinner, and greens. Look at that. Just beautiful. Hopefully there's not too much steam. There you go. Mock potatoes and onions and it tastes just like it. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Don't forget um, in the description box below I always link ingredients where I can find them online for you guys if you can't find them near you. So I try to give you options to be able to find things. Um, I also link our Dr. Sabi inspired recipe Facebook page and um, some links to Dr. Sabi's website. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you thought, this thought of this recipe. Thanks again guys. Bye.